Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Axe Matthias, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my text in Adobe After Effects. Let's start off by seeing whatever you need. Uh, you need some fonts. I suggest going to the font, going to basic sans serif, and just type your text right here. For instance, I'm gonna make it say Matthias then you can see a lot of nice um, fonts so first start off by making your uh, primary text uh, layer uh, the dimensions don't matter if you make it uh, have a big width and height so you have a lot of detail so i basically do 2000 by 4000 most of the times uh, because it fix it fits all of the text types and it looks good most of the time So you start off by um, pressing Ctrl, Alt and the Home on your keyboard. So the anchor point gets centered. Then you center the text. Um, you, ch you choose the font you like. I'm gonna use a prime time, I think. Ah uh, yeah, this looks good. Uh, let's make it a bit bigger. Make it centered. Again, click on it, press Ctrl Alt Home, center it, and that's your first part done. You've got the text. Then you pre compose this because if you make a typo or need to change anything, uh, you can do this. So you name this one text minus one, and always make sure you move all attributes. Uh, what we're going to do now is add a gradient. This is going to be a very basic text, so. Um, you should be able to follow this, doesn't matter what skill group you are in. So uh, let's make this something like this and this a bit like this. So we've got a gradient on it. The next thing we're gonna do is add another gradient, make this right in the middle. Like this, doesn't have to be perfect. And let's make this 98. And you see there's this subtle line right here. Let's make it 97. Maybe that's better. Yeah. Uh, then again, pre-compose this. Make sure you move all attributes to new layer. Text minus 2. Uh, what we're going to do now is right click. Go to layer styles. And add a inner shadow. This is what gives it like the 3D depth effect. L let's do 90 degrees. And then plus 180 so it comes uh, from under the text let's make this 20 and make the size uh, keep the size on 5 but make the distance a bit higher and you will see if this is too big this looks good in my opinion uh, so now we um, pre-compose this again you can pre-compose uh, as much as you want. You could do a lot of the steps in one layer, but I just like doing it this way and it keeps me organized. Uh, so now we're going to add a, a stroke. Make the stroke like 25 to 30. And I'm gonna make it a dark purplish color. Okay, let's make this 30. Maybe even a bit more. Yeah, this looks good. Then copy paste this. Delete the stroke from this one. Then pre compose this one and make this text 3 minus 1 because this isn't uh, its own layer. Now you can name it however you want. It's just this is just the way that I do it. Um, let's move this up right here and this right here because. We're going to have a gradient on our text, so, and then you copy this and you make this one a bit darker, like this. So you've got a gradient right here too. Then we select both of them. Uh, something else you can do on this one because this is basically a blank layer now. Uh, you could add a drop shadow to this one. This looks good on a lot of intros. Um, let's put this on full. Uh, make the distance around 15, I guess, and this then 
I mean softness 15 uh, you, you don't really have any right settings for this it's just whatever you feel like is good so I guess this looks nice so let's pre-compose this and let's call this text text minus 4 then what we're going to do is add a plugin called echo space so now we've got echo space on there and you might think what's exo exo echo space echo space is basically like the repeater effect but it it works um, on layers and everything so let's repeat and put the y on like 4 i guess and then this this looks i guess pretty nice what we're going to do now is add an adjustment layer add hue saturation onto the adjustment layer and make this minus 15 to minus 20 i'm gonna do minus 20 and it just makes it darker so you have the 3d effect maybe minus 30 so let's go and pre-compose this to text minus 5 and now we're going to add a warp effect on here uh, this will you'll see what this is able to do let me quickly save before my ae crashes by the way, I will try and leave the download link to the project files in the description so you guys can use it yourself. I mean, uh, look at it. Uh, let's get yeah, the shell lower um, and make this something like this. So you basically get this arch and then for uh, vertical distortion, you can make this a bit higher too. And then make sure the text is still pretty centered. Yeah, this is pretty good I guess then let's pre-compose this again and I'm gonna call this text minus 6 what uh, you could add a stroke to this if you'd like I like it this way uh, but let's take a look with a stroke I'm just gonna add a white stroke to it because this might look really nice And once this is done, let's pre-compose it again. X minus seven, and now let's add a drop shadow. My settings are 25 and around 15, I guess. Yeah, this looks good. So this is basically how you make text really fast in After Effects. Uh, this should be under 10 minutes however uh, if you have any problems be sure to ask me um, if you need the plugin echo space I really can't give it to you because I installed it a really long time ago you can find some tutorials on how to get it um, be sure to leave a like and a comment for more tutorials I'm gonna try and upload weekly tutorials and at least two intros a week um, and uh, I basically plan on making a full intro and then releasing it to you so you have the tutorial and the template because I promised uh, you guys that I would make a template and I will so you just gotta wait a few more um, weeks I guess and you'll have the template and the tutorials as well so again guys thank you all for the support recently uh, I hope I can get 2k uh, at least uh, this month I don't know if it's possible because I haven't been uploading that much as I have been busy with school. But yeah, thank you guys. I'm going to live stream uh, weekly now too. So be sure to check it out. I try to upload as well a lot. But you know, dog life. <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a nice day. Goodbye.